So let's talk now about the concepts of what a public cloud is versus a private cloud, a hybrid cloud, and then get into sort of the the uh, the details as to what the differences are. So the first thing to understand uh, about a public cloud is that uh, a public cloud is open to the public. It's available to anyone. Uh, anybody who wants to sign up for it um, can utilize it. Okay, and uh, the one of the you know some of the benefits to this would be things like you know there is no um, no money involved in dealing with on-premise servers you can you can utilize a public cloud and it's not going to cost you any any money to you're not going to have to have any servers on premise for dealing with a public cloud okay um, now there uh, there's also with the idea of a public cloud the other thing is is scaling with public clouds applications can be quickly scaled up and down as needed because public clouds have lots and lots of infrastructure we're not having to, to pay any money for that infrastructure they uh, they are hosting that infrastructure when I say we're not having to pay for any money any money for that what I'm trying to say is we're not having to pay for any on-premise equipment that's that's key of course you know we are paying to use their cloud service right all right so there is that right um, and then of course speaking of pay you pay for what you use that's one of the biggest benefits of a public cloud you only pay for what you use right um, you're not paying for uh, services that you don't need right so if I'm gonna host some virtual machines out there uh, I, I can choose sort of like what monthly payment I'm looking at uh, and kind of limit what where I want to be with all of that and I can I can sort of budget all of that and plan it all out and if if I need more uh, usage I can allow elasticity I can allow it to scale up meaning give me more processing power give me more RAM if I need it okay that's the idea okay so of course there is uh, one downside obviously of a public cloud is that uh, companies don't have complete control of the resources and security so of course we don't have complete control over all the hardware and everything that that's managed there the cloud company does okay so that's a consideration that's that you could see that as a disadvantage all right let's talk about private clouds now the idea of a private cloud is uh, with private cloud you are essentially paying for all the hardware and all the the management of it so with this with a private cloud um, probably one of the biggest benefits is companies have complete control uh, of the resources and security so whereas a public cloud that's seen as a, a big disadvantage with private clouds you the company itself would have complete control over the resources and security okay um, the next fact would be your when you think about data um, data is not stored on the same uh, equipment as other companies so equipment is being basically dedicated to this company as a as their private cloud and there's no data that's sitting on the data is not sitting on any of the same equipment any same storage equipment or anything like that that any other company is uh is storing um, their their uh, data on okay so that's seen as obviously an upside to this concept of private cloud of course that's where things get more expensive because you're paying for all the hardware and all of that all right so that brings us to our next little fact here hardware must be paid for and handled by the company that uses it so a company would end up having to to spend money to reserve dedicated hardware and keep that dedicated hardware uh, whereas with public cloud uh, you're not dealing with any of that right 
um, the company that's providing the service is handling everything, okay, as far as the management of that that service. Now, in the end, we can also argue that you, there's always money involved. You're always, even when you pay for what you're used, they're, they're rolling in some prices there. So there is that. Um, so that also kind of plays upon this last little fact I want to mention there, um, which is uh, the companies and vendors share upkeep cost of equipment. So when I say upkeep cost, you might use a private cloud vendor and you're paying for this equipment that's in their data center. You could even purchase equipment that's placed in their data center. It could be 100% yours where your company is uh, is paying 100% for it, but they are supplying the people to manage the equipment, to, to um, handle the equipment for you in their data center. Um, so they have to, they'll have to pay for the employees that are managing the equipment and the um, equipment that your equipment is sitting on. So if your equipment is on, uh, you know, server racks and all that, they're dealing with all the costs that's involved there. So that's why it says companies and vendors share upkeep uh, cost of equipment. All right. So then that brings us to hybrid. And hybrid is essentially where you can utilize both. And a lot of your cloud providers out there are providing this hybrid solution, meaning um, they're not just dedicated to public, they're not just dedicated to private. In fact, most cloud providers out there are hybrid, such as Microsoft, right? Uh, there are companies out there that, that just do private, and there are companies out there that do just, just do public, but most of them support hybrid. Hybrid means we have both. So the big, biggest benefit is very flexible solution. It means that people can choose which solution they want to go with, right? They can, they can do a mix, they can do one, they can do the other. I could go full on public, I could go full on private, um, or I can do a mix. Okay, so maybe for certain circumstances, maybe I need to go with the more private side of things and in certain circumstances I can go public because it's going to be a cheaper solution okay so that is the idea there okay so companies get to determine uh, what is private and public alright so that's obviously a benefit right and then uh, lastly with that is the security and compliance and legal requirements and all of that that's involved there um, because companies get to choose they do have to consider compliance and or legal requirements okay so because companies get to choose, they do have to consider compliance and, le and or legal requirements. So what am I saying there? Well, what that essentially means is, is that if you are going to go with a public cloud, there might be, depending upon what you know, uh, workplace market you're in, what kind of, maybe you're, a, like for example, you might be a government contractor uh, company that does work with the government. Well, you might have to go full all private because of that, all right? Uh, or maybe you're involved in some law firms and the, and, and the law firm is dealing with, uh, and you have a law firm that's dealing with some governmental resources and some uh, public resources. And so you, you'd have to keep certain things private on the private cloud and certain things on the public cloud. And it'd be great to say, well, we'll just go full all private, but private is more expensive. So this is why it's important for companies to be able to choose between public versus private. All right. But yes, uh, the security side of things, the compliance and legal restrictions, those are requirements, are things that have to be considered there. All right. So these are just some of the, the considerations that you want to be thinking about in regards to a public cloud, private cloud versus hi a hybrid cloud. And hopefully this little drawing uh, table that I've created here for you gives you a, a much better understanding of some of the ups and downs of going with which type of cloud.
Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again. <laughs>